Long-Term Test Review, Ford Edge SUV First report, Ford's big SUV, the Edge, joins our fleet to see if it can match up to the existing 4x4 competition. Verdict 3 Star Ford's new Edge has already impressed us with its space and comfort on long journeys, while its long list of equipment appeals, too. However, it feels big on the road and is much less at home around town and on narrow country lanes. Mileage, 4,352. Economy, 35.3 mpg. Ford will be the first to admit it's coming late to the SUV party. While many brands have showrooms full of them, Ford has only three, the Edge being the latest. So can the Edge start to position Ford as a major player in the lucrative SUV sector? We've added one to our fleet to find out. The Edge is a product of the One Ford Global strategy, so it's no surprise there's a distinct North American look and feel to it. From a quality point of view, though, you'd struggle not to think the car was European. However, catch a glimpse of the Edge in a shop window as you pass by and it's a large car, dominated by a very American chrome grill. Still, it's not unique, with my mind elsewhere, I recently approached a Hyundai Santa Fe thinking it was the Edge they're quite similar. Our car is the titanium model 1 up from Zatec with a similarly priced sport model alongside it and the vinyl luxury special at the top of the range. At 35,845 pounds and with plenty of luxury and safety kit on board, it's not bad value, while some choice options like the 2,000 pounds Lux Pack give you exactly that, a touch of luxury. With the addition of adaptive LED lights, 1,075 pounds, adaptive cruise control, 500 pounds, that lovely ruby red metallic paint, 675 pounds, and a few other added extras, the price tops 41,000 pounds. Making a comparison spec for spec with the Posher Vinyl model, a difference of less than 2,000 pounds is a bit too close for comfort, we'd be tempted to look longingly at the Vinyl and haggle. We collected our car from the impressive Trust Ford showroom on the Edgeway Road in North London the largest Ford dealership in Europe. New car sales business manager Daniel Neal introduced me to our Edge and took time to talk me through everything from Ford's SYNC3 infotainment to the powered tailgate, which can be operated by waving your foot under the rear bumper. It's already proven it's worth when carrying my under 16s football team's gear to matches, of course, my two sons never help with this. They are happy in the back, though, because the width of the car means plenty of space. But while the inflatable rear seat belts, 175 pounds, are a great safety feature, their hefty buckles are difficult to clip into place. As well as ferrying my family around, the Edge has been used by my colleague James Bunny for his annual skiing holiday, where its space and comfort came to the fore. The car excels on longer trips, it's quiet, helped by active noise control to cancel unwanted noise, and will cruise comfortably. Away from the motorway, there's no disguising the Ford's size. It's a big old beast to maneuver around town, while the ride feels a little bit lumpy, too. The steering isn't especially responsive, but take it easy and the automatic box slips through gears easily and the diesel engine is reasonably hushed. The Edge may be easy to live with, but its biggest problem is the choice in the SUV sector including some hugely talented rivals. So let's see if it can worm its way into our affections in the coming months. Key Specs Model, Ford Edge Titanium to see odd power shift. On fleet since, December 2016. Price new, £35,845. Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL turbo diesel, 207 bhp. CO2 slash tax, 149 g slash km slash pound 145. Options, Lux Pack, 2000 pounds, metallic paint, 675 pounds, LED adaptive headlights, 1075 pounds, premium Sony audio, 450 pounds, adaptive cruise, 500 pounds, blind spot information system, 
500 pounds, inflatable rear seat belts, 175 pounds, park assist, 150 pounds. Insurance asterisk, group, 29 quote, 856 pounds. Mileage slash MPG, 4,352 slash 35.3 MPG. Any problems, none so far.